let's tell you five things that will help you manage your anime figure house better and we're starting right now. Hi, welcome to another video. If you are new here and you love watching anime figure unboxings and other anime related stuff, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell below so you won't miss any uploads in the future. So today I'm going to share with you five things I wish I knew before I started my anime figure collection and you may take these things as tips so you won't make the same mistakes as I did. Let's begin with these cameras. We know they're everywhere and toy collecting is not an exception. I'll break them down into two types. First are those who sell bootlegs, fakes, knockoffs, or whatever you call it. These are the types of people that scam us by selling fakes either in a very tempting low price or they'd be selling these fakes the same price as the real ones. What's worse, they sometimes sell these fakes higher than the real anime figure suggested retail prices. Now, not everyone can avoid this, especially if you are new to anime figure collecting and unfortunately nobody is there to guide you. Which is why I made this video because I also experienced these things when I was still starting. My advice is to always ask for actual photos of the product you want to purchase. Tell them to take photos of the figure or the box at least with the proof that it's really from them. A photo with the paper with their shop name written on it beside the figure perhaps. Now, this is of course for non-official or shady looking sellers and you don't have to ask for these things from big shops with proof of legitimacy already. Now the second type are those who hoard real anime figures and then sell them in sky high prices. You must be thinking, how can someone hoard anime figures? They have long periods for pre-order. That's a good question. Well, some anime figures aren't that interesting enough to look at during pre-order period, but once officially released and the anime figure gains a lot of attention or hype by other anime figure collectors, they then look tempting, right? This is where these types of scammers come in. There is a sudden high demand of this specific anime figure. They either already purchased by bulk during pre-order period and anticipated for this to happen, or they bought from retail shops or buy the same anime figures that are pre-owned and then sell them in higher prices and sometimes they even declare it as rare. Oh my god, these people are evil. There are tons of anime figure related pages on different platforms and surely there are at least a few who will fall for this type of scams, especially if they are someone who's curious, someone new to this or someone pretty desperate. Just remember if the price is too good to be true, it might be a scam. And if the price is also too high in your opinion, then it's also a potential scam. You will have to do your research, bud. You know, help yourself. Look for price comparisons for the anime figure you want to buy. Join in anime figure pages and ask for advices. If even after all these things are done and the seller seems legit, then it's really up to you if you want to risk it. I'm not saying it's scam all the time, I'm telling you to be extra cautious because most of the time, it is. Second is the price value. I really wish I knew this right in the beginning. Let me divide them into three. Pre-order price, suggested retail price, and reselling or post-release price. You see, in buying anime figures, there's what we call a pre-order period. This is a limited span of days the sellers give us, the anime figure collectors or buyers, a chance to buy the product in a discounted pre-order price. Now the suggested retail prices. When anime figures are officially released, the price sort of increases a little bit. Let me give you an example. Say an anime figure costs, you know, 35 US dollars during pre-order period, and by the time it's already available on hand in stores and on websites, you see it's now priced at 40 to 45 US dollars or something. SRP will always be higher than the pre-order prices and even higher if the product released has limited stocks with a huge fan base. You know, that's just how business works. Last from the list, reselling prices. Earlier we talked about scammers selling anime figures in very high prices, right? This is why I advise doing price comparisons and research because sometimes an anime figure can truly cost so much. These are anime figures that become very expensive due to its rarity even years after its official release. For example, the anime figure of Card Captor Sakura Star's Bless You version. From what I remember, the pre-order price was around 200 US dollars or even a little bit less. 
Now I usually see it sold from 400 US dollars or more, especially if it's sealed and has no damage whatsoever. What we learn from this is that it's always best to watch out and place orders during pre-order period. If by any chance you don't have a choice and you just had to buy the anime figure after its official release, then it's still okay. Just bear in mind that it will always be more expensive than it was supposed to be. That was pretty long. This next one will be shorter, I promise. If you're somehow enjoying or you think this is informative, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I'd answer if I can too if ever you have further questions. Anyway, on to number 3, shipping fees. When I was still new to anime figure collecting, my stupid ass assumed shipping fees were free or somehow included with the pre-order price. I don't know if there's anybody out there like me and had the same thought, but always prepare extra money for the shipping fees. They are not cheap, especially when the anime figure you ordered comes in a huge box, like for example Hatsune Miku figures, resin statues, large anime figure hauls, you know. My boxes cost at least 10 US dollars for shipping fee alone nowadays, and those are just small to regular boxes. Imagine much heavier or much bigger boxes. Number 4, Manufacturers and Quality Not all anime figures are created equal. Not all expensive figures mean that they have better qualities either. This is why you should research the manufacturers and see if you like their anime figure sculpts or style. Try and look for unboxing videos or unedited photos of some anime figures under that manufacturer and see if you can be satisfied with their paint job, the accuracy from the reference, etc. Obviously, it comes down to personal preference. Hang in there, bud, we're almost done. Let me tell you the last and I think is the most important thing I wish I knew before buying anime figures and started my anime figure collection. Number 5 is Commitment and Addiction. You see, once you try and buy one anime figure, it feels so lonely. Then you try and buy another one, then it turns to five, and then it multiplies so damn fast you won't even notice. To me, it felt satisfying and addictive. You know, like watching one hentai daily and one day you just suddenly ace watching five hentais a day? Seeing all these pretty figures, all the anime series that has anime figures, your favorite characters finally getting anime figures, they would all lure you into buying more anime figures until you are stuck in a loop. I was so lost and just bought any anime figure I thought that looked nice in the beginning until I was blocked with two big problems. Money and storage. I did solve it somehow. I committed to buying anime figures that only fit my theme. I choose to focus more on Hatsune Miku figures, some androids, and girls in swimsuits. Other figures that didn't fit these themes were sold. I'm still working on this as I still buy some out of theme anime figures, but not as much as before. What I'm trying to say is, before you start your anime figure collection, try and choose a series or a theme or a character you would like to focus on. In the end, I wanted to share all these tips with you so you won't make the same mistakes as I did. You know, learn from my mistakes. Most of all, bear all these tips in mind when buying anime figures and enjoy it. Enjoy anime figure shopping, enjoy anime figure collecting. This hobby does not require age or status. Just don't let the kid in you die, right? You know, just have fun, just be chill. You know, you just have to learn to control yourself on doing purchases and buying anime figures that you want to buy because this is a very expensive hobby. I hope this video helps somebody out there and if you're new to anime figure collecting, welcome! And I hope you, you know, you find all the anime figures you're looking for and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching and if you see this video as informative or you enjoyed somehow, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a thumbs up and strike a conversation below. I am very active in the comments section. And also if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell below so you won't miss any uploads in the future. I try and upload weekly. So I guess that's everything. I hope you are doing well and I wish you luck on collecting your anime figures. And that's it. See you next weekend. Bye-bye. One, two, three.